and welcome. <laughs> I am Representative Kate Webb from Shelburne, and I'm here to tell you why I am supporting Sarah Copeland Hansis as our next Vermont Secretary of State. Why? Sarah is a champion of our democracy at a time when it seems at risk. Sarah can talk the talk, of course, but she can also, and has demonstrated, she can walk the walk. I met Sarah in 2009 as a freshman legislator. Sarah was then Deputy Assistant Majority Leader. As we struggled to keep track of the complexity in the committees to which we'd been assigned, Sarah was helping us understand what was happening in the other committees, other 13 committees. Her leadership made us better able to represent our constituents. I worked with her again in 2014 when she was elected Majority Leader and I was Majority Whip. I watched Sarah negotiate between her Republican and progressive leaders and led the, the Democratic caucus, working with blue dog Democrats, in some ways more conservative than the Republicans, as well as progressive Dems that often were to the left of the progressive party. I watched her work with the speaker to create balanced committees, moving some members around who were better matched, happier and more productive with certain committee leadership styles. Sarah understands people, she understands working relationships. Sarah can hold a vision, she can set a direction, she can take critical feedback to make it better, and she can get it done. She has the heart and the brains, and boy, does she have the muscle. Have any of you seen her play basketball, softball, or throw a football? She's amazing. Here's why we need Sarah. When the going gets tough, Sarah gets going. Even a global pandemic couldn't stop her. In fact, it inspired her. She worked with local, state, and national experts to successfully design and pass legislation that would allow us to safely maintain access to voting without endangering our health. When we reviewed the very successful 2020 elections, she helped to head off criticism from those who wanted to limit access. Instead, she led to the passage of legislation making universal vote by mail permanent. Sarah is a champion of our democracy. Now more than ever, electing champions of democracy is crucial. Sarah is running for Vermont Secretary of State to strengthen Vermont's democracy and ensure that all Vermonters have their voices heard in Vermont elections. Sarah has proven herself a thoughtful and dynamic leader who has never shied away from hard work and complex issues. Sarah is the champion that Vermont needs and deserves, and she is ready to continue to serve Vermont as our next Secretary of State. I'd like to introduce you now to Larry Coffin, her high school teacher, who knows a little bit more about her when she was in high school. Larry Coffin. Thank you. Just the good stuff, right? Just the good stuff. Just the good stuff. I'm Larry Coffin. I'm a retired social studies teacher from Bradford. My first contact with Sarah was in 1988, when she was a student in my senior voter preparation class at Oxbow High School. In 1995, after graduating from UVM with a major in science and history and receiving a teaching certificate, Sarah came back as a colleague. She taught science and working, worked diligently with her students and on the classroom and on the athletic field. In 2004, she ran for the Vermont House from our district and began a long and direct relationship with her constituents. For the past 18 years, Sarah has represented Bradford, West Fairley, and Fairley. Annually, she speaks to the town meeting, clearly explaining the issues facing the state of Vermont. My, any request that I made of Sarah for information was always answered quickly. And I was deeply impressed by her command of the details of the important issues facing the state. I was proud that our district was able to share Sarah with the rest of the state in her role on the House Health Care Committee and more recently on the House Committee on Government Affairs. In her years in the House, she has successfully championed a number of pieces of legislation and advocated for others. With the rights of average Vermonters in mind, she has worked on the minimum wages, improved access to child care, paid family and medical leave, 
and women's rights. She has been a fighter for legislation to deal with the challenges of climate change, achieving a 90 to 100 percent voting record award from the Vermont Conservation Voters Organization. More recently, as chair of the Government Operations Committee and co-chair of the Pension Benefits Task Force, Sarah was instrumental in moving the legislation towards solution to the state's public pension crisis. Obviously a solution that still needs work. That Oxbow course that Sarah and I shared back in 1988 as student and as teacher had a threefold focus. Voter registration, rights for voters, the role of government in the encouragement and regulation of careers, and a dozen or so student-selected issues facing the voters of Vermont and the nation. In the latter, students were required to make lengthy presentations to the class and answer questions about their research. Attention to varied points of view was encouraged. As a teacher, I thought those course emphases was important. As a teacher, I could only hope that the objectives would be shared by my students in the classroom, down the hall, and beyond. Now, I do not take any credit for that in Sarah's case, as she was predisposed to them. But as a friend, campaign supporter, and voter, I believe that Sarah brings to the Office of Vermont Office, Office of Secretary of State personal characteristics that ring true of those that I taught in that class. Those personal characteristics are the focus and talents that will make her exactly right fit, exactly the right person for this important position in public trust. And so I give you Sarah. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Larry. Thank you all for coming. Never before has our democracy been under such threat. From intentional disinformation to active voter suppression happening in other parts of our country, the danger to the fundamental tenets of democracy is real. Now more than ever, it's crucial to elect a Secretary of State who will lead the way and who will step up and fight for democracy. I'm proud to be that candidate. Now more than ever, electing champions of democracy is crucial. And I'm running for Secretary of State to strengthen Vermont's democracy and ensure that all Vermonters have their voices heard in Vermont's elections. Under my leadership, I have prioritized election reform that puts civic engagement and voter accessibility at the forefront. I've spearheaded initiatives that broke down barriers for Vermonters to register and vote. And when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, I led efforts to enact universal vote by mail for the general election and to ensure the ease of access to voting for all while maintaining the health and safety of our poll workers and our voters. In 2021, I led the charge to make vote by mail permanent. As your next Secretary of State, I will continue to lead in the charge, strengthening, protecting, and preserving Vermont's democracy. Vermont can and should lead the way. I am a proven leader who has never shied away from hard work or complex issues. In my 18 years of public service, I have led the legislature to tack many, tackle many complicated and complex challenges, often ones that were deemed unsolvable. In addition to my work protecting and strengthening Vermont's democracy, my leadership has enabled the passage of legislation providing better access to democracy, stronger voting rights, set Vermont on a path to meet its greenhouse gas reduction milestones, brought Vermont one step closer to reproductive liberty, which today, the ver this very morning, I got a text message from one of my children in California and she said, Mom, I'm scared. I'm really proud of the work that we've done in Vermont on this. Guaranteed paid sick days for workers, establishing a regulated cannabis market that prioritizes restoring historical harms. Um, I've passed the strongest sexual harassment prevention law in the nation and a bill that guarantees mental health coverage for injured first responders. Most recently, and in the news this week, uh, I also led on our path to reform Vermont's public employee pension system so that our hardworking teachers and state employees have a retirement with dignity that they can look forward to. 
As your next Secretary of State, I will continue my track record as a bold leader who gets things done. In my 18 years of public service, I've been a champion of policies that put the health, dignity, economic security, and civil liberties of Vermonters at the forefront. I'm looking forward to bringing my experience and steadfast commitment to Vermont and Vermont's democracy to this office.